Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 5 dash 6. So in this problem, the solid shaft has a diameter of 0.75 inch. If it is subjected to torque shown, determine the maximum shearing stress developed in region B, C and D, E of the shaft. The bearing at A and F allows free rotation of the shaft. So you can see this is a shaft and, and A and F uh, contain bearings that allow free rotation. The torque at each uh, portion at B, C, D and E has been shown clear and you have been asked to find the uh, maximum shear stress developed in BC and DE. So BC is this portion and DE is this portion. So we we'll first start uh, with uh, the BC portion. So for that I have to cut this section BC clear that this is one and I will draw the free body diagram. So if I draw the free body diagram this shaft will be this is the BC portion this is the pulley portion or the place where the torque is applied and this is the free end. So the torque that is given over here is you can see at B this is B point here so at this is A point and this is let's say uh, the shaft, po shaft portion BC. So this torque is given as 35 pound into feet. Clear? So in order to counteract we will have opposite torque. Clear? And this torque will be equal to TBC and this TBC will be equal to same 35 pound into feet. Okay. Now uh, we will find the uh, maximum shearing stress uh, in portion BC clear so shear stress BC is equal to torque BC into C divided by J now torque is 35 pound into feet so you have to convert it into inch so 35 into 12 this will give you pound into inch Clear and C is diameter is given 0.75. So C is equal to 0.75 divided by 2 in 2, which is equal to 0.375 inch. So 0.375 divided by J and J is equal to pi by 2 R4. This is C is basically R. So 0.375 power 4. So when you calculate it you will get the sharing stress in portion BC comes out to be 5070 PSI pound per square inch or you can say that is equal to 5.07 KSI kilo pound per square inch is KSI. Now we will move toward the second part and in second part it is uh, given to find out the sharing stress in DE portion. So for that I will cut it at DE layer. So we will take this portion. I will also solve it by using this portion. Both will give you the same answer. So this is the shaft. This is free and this is end F layer and there is this pulley type and this is E this is E and this is portion where you want this is portion uh, DE so torque at this point is TDE now here the torque is given as like this clockwise so our reaction torque in portion of DE will be equal to anti-clockwise it will be like this and this TDE will be equal to the same as H 
here which is 25 pound into feet T D is also 25 pound into feet so sh maximum sharing stress at portion D will be again equal to torque D E into C divided by J now T D E is equal to 25 pound into feet so we will convert it into inch so 25 into 12 will be pound into inch and c is the same which is 0 0.37 that we have mentioned above here divided by polar moment of inertia and that is pi by 2 r4 and r is 0 0.375 power 4 this is shares sharing stress in portion t de so tde will comes out to be 3621 esi r this tde will be equal to 3.621 ksi so this is the answer of our this question now we will move toward our second problem which is the same uh, given in this uh, figure and I will draw I will solve it separately so the problem is that the shock, solid shaft has diameter of 0 0.75 inch if it is subjected to a torque shown determine the maximum sharing stress developed in region CD and EF of the shaft the bearing A and F allow free rotation so again if you have a un clear understanding about problem 5-6 you can solve it as well but let me solve it so first cd portion so cd portion is this one so we will cut it over here and i will draw the free body diagram uh, cd and uh, ef okay so when you cut it again you have to draw the free body diagram so let's say this is the shaft there this is free and a so at and at this B point there is a pulley and again at C point we have another pulley and this portion is CD portion which we have cut so this is point A this is point B this is point C the torque is shown over here this this torque is anti-clockwise here this is clockwise this is anti-clockwise the value of this is 35 pound into feet here torque is 20 pound into feet so you can see this uh, V is clockwise which is 35 and this is anti-clockwise which is 20 so in order to counter balance uh, to counter it we need 15 pound into feet, feet torque again in counterclockwise direction so this will be equal to tcd and that will be equal to 50 pound 15 pound into feet we will apply the equation tcd maximum sharing stress in portion cd is equal to torque cd into c divided by j clear torque is 15 pound into feet so we will convert it into inch c is 0 0.75 and again 0 0.75 divided by 2 is 0 0.375 divided by polar moment of inertia which is equal to pi by 2 r4 and r is 0 0.375 power 4 so when you calculate it you will get the sharing stress maximum sharing stress in portion cd that is equal to 2173 psi or you can say tcd is equal to 2.17 ksi so this is the answer of first portion now it again it is given to find out the maximum sharing stress in EF so we will cut it over here 
clear and I will draw the free body diagram so if you cut it over here so only you will have this is the free end clear F and here the torque will be equal to zero because there is no force or torque that is acting at the free end so we know that sharing uh, stress is equal to T into C divided by J so if T is equal to zero so 0 multiply by 0 0.375 divided by polar moment of inertia which is pi by 2 into 0 0.375 power 4. So it will give you the sharing stress will add this portion will be equal to 0. If you take this all this portion let me show you. So if you want to take this portion let's say if you want to if you cut it and you want to take all this portion clear so you can see that one is 35 other is 20 40 25 so in clockwise direction we have 35 plus 25 which is equal to 60 and in counterclockwise this is also 60 clear so there is no share uh, torque net torque that will be over here that's why torque will be equal to zero and maximum sharing stress will be also zero so this was all about problem 5-7 okay one more thing i have told you that here we have taken this section so if you want to take the remaining this section there so you can see that 35 pound in clockwise and 60 pound 40 plus 20 is in counterclockwise direction so we need 25 in uh, pound into feet in clockwise direction so again you can see here td is 25 pound so uh, whether you are taking this section and this section both will give you the same answer i hope this has clear your concept and you you will have no problem in solving set type of question thank you for watching and supporting me